Hey, I'm Luther Kruger, Big Blue Sun Museum of Solar Cooking, based in Minneapolis. And I'm in San Angelo, Texas. Oh, not a cloud in the sky. I'm here with Jim Robinson. And uh, we're going to talk about a lot of his DIY cookers, maybe a couple of commercial models that he has. Uh, the first question I always ask, though, is uh, how did you get into solar energy in any way, shape, or form, and then specifically solar cooking? And I'll ask kind of where you are now after that, and then where do you see the future of solar cooking? So how how'd you get into it? I just stumbled to it on the internet and uh, it uh, picked my interest and uh, I have a, a sort of a design desire so that's really how it, and I uh, always thought I could probably improve on the designs or make them simpler or, or such and so it's really uh, more of a design sure. thing that, that, that attracted me. Yep. And you're an architect. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where you are now and you're making, basically making your own uh, models. Uh, let's start with this one. Well, this is a, it's a square parabolic. It's uh, by the way, uh, you can Google Robinson cooker and this is on the internet. The plans right. for it are on the internet. Yep. Uh, the objective on this was to get something extremely simple that was uh, you know, readily available, uh, inexpensive materials and still get uh, good efficiency. It's a, just a faceted, 25 facets. It's parabolic and uh, it's, it actually, it's surprisingly effective. Sure, it really is. Sure. I, we cooked uh, three cups of rice on it yesterday. And uh, it's not quite as effective as some of the others with the better reflective material on it. But the, once again, the objective was to get something real simple, easy to make, uh, inexpensive materials, readily available. And uh, it's it's achieved that uh, that design objective. Sure. And this is, this is just a, it looks like a pine frame? Yeah, it's, just, even it's just a wood frame. Yep. It, uh, the elevation is just uh, rotated this way. Of course, the admins, you rotate the whole thing. Sure. It's got a just a, oh, yeah. a conduit pot support with a wire <laughs> thing. The pot sits on that, and the angle's adjusted this way. It can be fixed that way, and then you adjust the azimuth by just rotating the whole cooker. And it's uh, surprisingly effective. It's got about, uh, this is about 0.9 or, or uh, 9 square feet sure. of solar collection area. Uh, it suffers a little bit because the, the facets are somewhat large. They're somewhat, the, the objective is to keep the facets smaller than the target. Yep. So in that respect, it's, it uh, suffers a little bit of efficiency in that way. But it'll, it'll bring, uh, the original one I made would bring a liter of water starting at 70 degrees temperature to boiling within about 12 minutes. Oh, that's, so. that's about as good as any parabolic I've ever used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, I, it actually outperformed the SK-10. I had it in a side-by-side -side deal. Yeah. It's all made of cardboard, aluminum foil, and this is made out of scrap wood we had laying around the house. So, And it's extremely inexpensive. It was really designed more like for a, a poverty situation. So I, oh, I sure. want to take this to Mexico. And, yeah. And, uh, so yes, that is just plain cardboard. Yeah. Tape, a little bit of cord there to kind of hold the shape at yeah, the top what, probably. Yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah. But effective. Yeah, that's uh, I mean, the what I found with uh, panel cookers is the closer they make the shape that you can snap into place or use laces or whatever, the closer it uh, looks like a parabola, yeah. the more effective it is because it's grabbing and, and putting it all in one area. That's nice. Yeah, this, the, the uh, I can't remember the exact parabolic formula I use for this, but each one of these corners uh, is will, will fit the a parabolic shape and the focal point is on the axis of rotation which there makes it very easy sure. and it's it's a relatively deep so it's not a it's a deep parabolic so it's not quite as dangerous it doesn't have to be adjusted as frequently as a shallow parabolic okay. so that's it's it's kind of like the sk-10 in that regard as sure. far as its, it's depth of the, para, and the parabola sure but okay well, we got this cute little box one yeah, this is just a, it's a 3060. It's a, it's a folded up version of, of this. Oh, sure. So uh, I just want to show you, show you what it looked like in a folded condition. Mm -hmm. This is one we use a lot. It's, this, this is a relatively simple one too. It's a cardboard. The inner and outer oven box are cardboard. Yep. And the, it has a wood frame on which the, the, uh, the oven, the outer and uh, inner case of the oven attach. And also the reflectors attached to it and, it, and the glass sits on top of it. So. Sure. Yeah, it's really the, the only purpose of this was to show the folded up version of, okay. of the 3060. It's a 3060 and uh, it only has two elevation uh, angle settings. One's 30 degrees and the other's 60. As opposed to the uh, 
the adjustable ones like the solar oven, the oh. whole sun, but the solar oven in this. Sure. But uh, I just this one has uh, core plast reflectors with uh, with the uh, aluminized vinyl on it, which is a much better reflective service. They got that from sure. Nathan. Yeah. But uh, and it's what I've done on these pair box. I've done a dual angle because uh, to avoid you get the larger solar collection area. This upper panel cans inward a bit. Yep. That's to prevent overshoot, where it'll come and hit the other reflector rather than getting right. in the box. So right. uh, the dual angle allows you to have more solar collection area without having the losses of overshoot. Sure. So, and that ang that extra angle, it's not that much of a twist, no, but it's uh, if, they, if it were perfect, it'd be parabolic. You know, sure. The, sure. And so, uh, but that achieves uh, the same, about the same results so much more easily than trying to produce a. Uh, you know, parabolic shape, but sure. th this is an adjustable elevation oh, yeah. box. Yep. It's got the rotating pan in it. The the box, the inner chamber of the oven is uh, metal, and of course the pan is the rotating pan's metal. Yep. But uh, and the the reflectors all they uh, they're just Velcro attached, so they oh sure you know you just take them off like that and fold them in like that. Yep. So. That's that's uh, the folded up version of the one on the right. Sure. So. And the little the inter the middle one here just folds over into the You're right. Is yeah, that it folds over and then and then uh, both those two of the front and the back will fold over on top of these. How the Sun Oven Villager works. I've got a I've got a Villager. Oh really? Those, that's yeah, the, the big, big ones. Oh, yeah, massive. But yeah, the big it's like four foot reflectors and then you got to watch because they're on a hinge and. As soon as you get out at a certain point, they'll they'll whip out, and that's what that's what you connect to the next one over. So yeah. it's exactly how it works. Yeah. So it, the the village, the big village uh, cooker, that's immense. Oh yeah. Uh, this is just another. This is a all uh, entirely cardboard. Once again, the objective is to get something that you know uh, can be built in uh, more primitive uh, countries. It's uh, the cardboard reflectors. They're dual angle. It's a thirty sixty. Real simple uh, design. There's no wood frame. Uh, that supports the inner and outer uh, oven box and the reflectors. It's all cardboard, so mm -hmm. and it's extremely lightweight. I mean, it's like oh wow, yeah, yeah. Of course, it's three it's pounds. Like, oh, it's like an empty cardboard box. Yeah, it? yeah, it's and it's got uh, it's got spun fiberglass uh, insulation as between the inner and outer oven boxes. Sure. And it's got old glass. We use a little golf tee to put oh, a sure. handle on that, <laughs> uh, and it folds up uh, like the thirty sixty. It's a thirty sixty as well. Yeah. And uh, pretty simple. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, this looks familiar. We were just around the bend with that one. Okay, well, th this one's uh, probably my pride and joy. It's a square parabolic. It's uh, It's got about a, this has got a square meter of solar collection area, and it's uh, it's extremely effective. It's 49 facets. It's 7 by 7 facets. It's the uh, same basic construction as the other one. It's got the electrical metal conduit, mm -hmm. uh, pot support post. It's got the, the rotatable frame. It's uh, I can get uh, a liter of water starting at 70 degrees temperature up to boiling in about seven minutes with this. Nice. And it's it's really good. It does a great job. I use that, that solar hot pot. Sure. Uh, yeah. So I made a I made a you know a, oh a little, yep. little, a different pot holder for that one, but uh, it's it's really effective. I'm really proud of that one. And it's this one's probably five years old. It's losing the the reflective surfaces lose some of its reflectivity, and I'll mm. probably have to recoat it. But uh, it's really, really good. It's, it's up to good temperatures. I use this almost daily. Sure. Uh, we cook rice, beans, uh, just all kinds of things with this spaghetti. It's, uh, it's, and you know, here in Texas, it's really nice to cook outdoors because, you know, you don't want to heat the oh. inside of your house. Well, it, when it's already hot outside, why do you yeah. want to heat the inside? Yeah. 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 So it's it's great. To, well, last Fourth uh, of July, we. Uh, we uh, cooked turkey. We, we did a real American, all American. Uh, it was like a Thanksgiving dinner. It was sure. turkey. We did the dressing, the gravy, pumpkin bread, all out, all the solar stuff, all outdoors oh, nice. on solar. Yeah. So it was kind of a lot of fun doing that. And it was a delicious uh, Fourth of July. I love roast turkey. Oh yeah, yeah. And it didn't heat the house up at all. So. Well, the one question I have, and and I almost never ask it, but because the, the DIY people. They're either full tilt DIY, or they they'll just buy one because they don't want to go through the, the trouble. But uh, how long would you say someone uh, would be able to put something like that together? It can't be more than ten bucks, fifteen bucks worth of materials. Oh, right? it's it's more than that. The core plast. This usually I use uh, 
use campaign yard signs. Oh, sure, sure, yes. For the core plaid. <laughs> On this, I bought the 4x4 four four sheet of core plaid, I think, at Home Depot or Lowe's. It was probably eight bucks. The frame is, uh, of course, just just stuff I had laying around. Sure. It's it's one by twos effectively. Yep. Uh, I'd say probably at the at the outside you'd probably be paying thirty or so dollars. That's the okay. most. Okay. Sure. Of course, I used uh, scrap lumber, scrap material, stuff I had laying around. This this thing probably cost me ten, eleven dollars. Sure. Sure. Thereabouts. And of course, these don't. These are extremely oh. expensive. Uh, basically, repurposing what you already got. Yeah. 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 But that's that's one of the objectives too. Inexpensive, you know, inexpensive, yep. uh, and they're all really effective. Uh, these these will outperform a global sun oven, you know, pretty uh, comfortably. Sure. I've I've got some of these thirty sixties up to four hundred and fifty. Wow! Wow! And uh, yeah, they're uh, that's almost that's almost a dangerous point. Yeah, but I we we use these and we cook breads, cakes. I cooked uh, some pork chops Friday. Uh, of course, you know it's so uh, it's so easy to cook out here in this yeah. uh, West Texas heat. So. Sure. And once again, it's to keep the heat out of the house. So we cook outdoors almost exclusively now during the summer. Sure. Well, th this I mean I love this because it starts out with everything's flat, but then you make the parabola. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm sure that this is something where teachers, if they could uh, implement. Uh, put this kind of stuff into their physics classes. Yeah, that's how th these were all designed. I, I do I do them with CAD, of course, but uh, mm -hmm. these are these are relatively simple. It's just a this is a, these uh, these are uh, seven different pedals, and they just rotate out with they're cut from a single piece. And sure. They, and then they'll just pull together to form a parabolic shape. So yeah. It's pretty easy to do. And like I, that Robinson cooker is a guy on the uh, internet. It shows basically the method that this is put together. Even though this is more, is more facets and it's a larger solar reflection. Sure. Well, and one trick I've done is, uh, like, I wanted to make a Parvati from the from the plans, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> I just got a, a projector on my laptop and projected the the drawing yeah. onto the big sheet, and I just made sure it was nice and square, so I didn't have this you know you know warped oval of a thing, and it worked fine, worked perfect. Yeah. So there's probably a way you could do that with the uh, with oh, this, yeah, you right? Oh yeah, scale them up and scale them down. Oh yeah, right. yeah. I've got I've got probably 30 different variations of this. Sure. And, and the the Robinson cookers that's on the web is actually simpler because it doesn't have a square frame. It's just got these sidebars, but it's it's amazingly rigid, surprisingly rigid. Yeah. Uh, you know, but it's the square work a little bit better. Actually, they help in aiming it because you can see that when the shadow uh, comes up. You keep the shadow off the off the reflectors, and you aim perfect. Right. So, yep. the square frame helps in that regard. Sure. The, the upper and lower ones, you can uh, tell when the you know when the shadow becomes cast on this lower reflector, you need to lower yep. it. So it's the, a simple way to aim it. The, these are uh, they hold a rod that comes across, and I, I've got a, uh, a sheet of uh, it's about quarter inch thick aluminum uh, rectangular piece that. I'll put it in there and it'll heat it up real hot, and then I stick it. I stick it in one of these boxes. Oh wow! Okay. And it really accelerates the heating process. Sure, sure. Because <clears throat> it, it has a pretty high heat capacity on the, the, the aluminum. Now, is that like an aluminum bar or sheets or what? Uh... Yeah, well, uh, what I I've got the. Okay. These. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. These just sit across like this, and that aluminum plate sits between these. Mm -hmm. It's right in the reflecting point. They like this one, like the other one. The uh, the focal points on the axis of rotation. So uh, when you put that on there, it heats it up, and I mean you can you can cook bread in twelve minutes. Wow. But it, actually, you don't need it now. In the summer, you don't need it. No. Oh. So around here somewhere. Yeah. But, Is it about as thick as that, or? It's it's a, yeah, it's a quarter inch thick. These, okay. These these retain it like that. And then sure. They, it just it boosts the uh, performance of these significantly. Wow! Actually, in the summer it's too much. So yeah. I, I use it only in the during the winter months mm -hmm. you know, when you have a lot of you know ambient heat loss. Yeah, so it's more or less a, a nice uh, uh, heat sink yeah. really to, to boost yeah, up. It, it'll, it'll boost performance these box ovens considerably too much in the summer. I want to get down into Mexico and some of those poverty stricken areas up in the yeah. northern part because I mean this would be ideal for them. They, yeah. We were on a. I was a member of the Archaeological Society here. They, I did, didn't. This was before I joined them. But they did a trip down to Mexico, and the guy that uh, was doing the uh, presentation of that, of that trip they did down there, he was just saying that the poverty is just, yeah. it's breathtaking. Yeah. You know, and he, 
like uh, there are people that travel hours to get firewood. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. This would be perfect. For yeah. Them. And that's really that's that's one of the uh, you know the objective of uh, simplicity. You know, readily available materials. That's one of the design yeah. objectives for that reason. So that uh, you know, poverty stricken people. Yeah. Well, so uh, so the SK ten is that it? Yep. It's ten. Yeah. You want to talk about that a little bit? Anymore. Yeah. The uh, I think they still make the fourteens and the. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This was one of the original. Uh, it was. Uh, it was actually made for. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, made for Africans. It was a. Uh, it all came in a flat package. Mm -hmm. uh, all the frame members and the support members. You had to. It's like you know, like one of those old model airplanes where it's got to, you have to pull the parts out of a, a casting and it's sure. really difficult to construct. But uh, it's extremely durable materials. It's yeah. German made. I gave this to a Boy Scout troop, but they uh, they just never used it. So. Wow. Good. Um, the SK-14 and 750, and I actually have the 350, which is almost like a little, looks like a toy, but a little pot that comes with it, that'll boil almost as fast <laughs> as the rest because it's still a parabolic. Yeah. But here I see everything is nuts and bolts. Yep. And uh, the SK-14, I get the kit and uh, I'm you know, pouring out the box. And coming out of the box are a bunch of like like telephone cable, telephone wires wrapped in a, a cable wrap, like meant to go overhead and then split off and snipped in like six eight inch lengths i'm going what the heck is that well what they do is they just have the holes tied together yeah, side. Side. yeah yeah and so it's it's uh very simple so i've had this one for about maybe 20 years out of sure it's got a little hail damage but uh yeah. it yeah. stood up great and i it got a little bit dinged up uh, i don't think the scouts ever used to cook with but i think they use it or a frisbee or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a kite. I don't yeah. know. It might actually lift off. Yeah, it's got yeah. a few, few bands in it, but it, it yeah. still works great. We, we use them. I'd use these, I would guess, I sold or cook probably 250 days a year. Oh, yeah. Oh. And we go down to you know, <laughs> the winter. That we're at 31 degrees uh, north latitude. So sure, sure. We get good, uh, good sun elevation throughout the year. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, we... Uh, one thing about the higher elevation on the sun of the parabolics is, you know, the, uh, it was not the real deep ones. Deep parabolics, they'll, they'll cast the sun on top of the cooking yeah. chamber where it's not that effective. But the higher elevations on the sun, you get the, uh, on these shallow parabolics, you get the, the concentrated energy hitting the part of the pot directly opposite the liquid you're cooking. So right. it, that, that has something to do, uh, again, with the performance on these things when they call out the performance. If you've got the sun directly overhead, yeah. like with that sheet pot in there, it's going to boil a lot faster because the, the yes. energy's on the bottom of the pan. Yep. And when the thing's almost perpendicular, when the sun's perpendicular. Yep. In the winter, the whole pot's getting the same amount of energy, but it's not going to the bottom of the pot in contact right. with the water. So it, it diminishes the boiling time the lower the elevation of the sun sure. because the, the energy's coming in on the top of the pot and on the sides yeah. where it doesn't. Well, how about, can we take a look at the, the big Indian model? Oh, yeah. That would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, this, this thing, uh, it's probably the bottom of that uh, fender on that little pond there. <laughs> I mean, I've seen photos of it, and it just you can't yeah. appreciate the scale until you're right next to it. Yeah. Wow. I appreciate the heat. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, we can probably get it out there if you want to. Uh, we're we're good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, don't want to hightail it out of here. We caused a fire in the middle yeah. of my my video tour. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a good. But it's a it's a booger. Yeah. And you you it's just it's like the. Uh, What's the, what's the round one, what do you call that? The Chinese round one that's... Oh, it's yeah, I, there's there's probably 20 different makers yeah. up there. Yeah, it's, it's adjusted the same way. Mm -hmm. You keep the shadow of the pot right over the square. And you're the, okay. That's how you focus it. Oh, okay. But so it, as you can see, it is kind of flimsy. Yep. Uh, so just a crank and rocker arm there, a little worm gear type yep. thing. And, Yep. Well, yeah. it's not a worm gear. It's just, oh, a, just there's a this is an all thread and there's a nut down there. So it's, oh, right. It's more primitive, simple, but oh sure, sure. If they, if it's just as effective. So. Yep. Yeah, that's how you adjust the angle. 
the wow. elevation angle. Well, and so they, they are, they, they designed this so that it maximizes what goes under the pot. Right. So otherwise they could go another foot or two yeah, above. Yeah, and... also it allows you, you're supposed to access it from the back. Mm -hmm. from oh, and then it's almost like a, it's like a, what do they call it, gimbaled by the virtue of the, where the hinge is there. So when you crank it to. Yeah, actually you need to, sometimes oh, when you, you get do, it flatter, okay. you can move this out. Oh, that, I see. That'll get this level. Oh, see. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's at the, when I store it, I store it kind of in the vertical, this vertical thing. Yep. Yeah. It's a, it's a killer. Oh, yeah. When it's got the same size ring, it's amazing because it's, it's, it's twice the size of the one I have that has that exact, exact same size yeah. ring. Yeah. And you'd think it would have a twice the size of the, so you could have a bigger pot. Well, we had one of those big, you know, uh, two gallon Dutch ovens out there when we were doing that, that uh, canning, and it, it got to a boil. We must have had a gallon of water in there. It got to a boil in just a matter of minutes. Yeah. And then you really have to watch out on it. It's a, it's a killer. Yeah. Well, then the wheels they put on it, you know, yeah. I think of, if you're gonna put it in the yard, well, that's gonna, you're gonna cut a groove in your yard, you know? <laughs> yeah, they're real flimsy. It, it, it's, yeah. it's not well constructed, it's uh, pretty flimsy, which is one reason why I'm kind of afraid to use it. You're, uh, when we had it at a low angle, you know, the sun was at a high angle, and this was rotated out, you're down here cranking, that pot's almost over your head, you know, it's boiling water, you might get <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's a gust of wind and hot spray. Yeah. That's dangerous. Is that enough? Yeah, yeah. No, that's great. Let's see if I can not drag here. And it's this kind that does pop up now and again on eBay with my, with my little uh, daily search. And, and uh, now hearing all the cautions and seeing the size of it, I, yeah, I don't think I'll need it. Yeah, I got enough parabolics in my collection. All right. Well, thanks so much. Certainly. This is great. I would have really enjoyed it. <laughs>